All right, we are inside, guys. Um, this is my South American tank. Um, it's not connected to the system, so I pretty much uh, have to do a water change regularly on it. As you look, I got six Altam Angels, six Warus, and I had some uh, little fish that I put in there as fry that managed to survive. I do feed my Altams and my Warus a, a varied diet. I love to get them uh, plants for the Warus. I feed them lettuce and stuff regularly. And uh, the uh, sick, uh, the Altam Angels, I'll get them, uh, you know, a little fry when they're first hatched, you know, and, and move that. I was going to do a video of one of my other tanks, but uh, just cannot get the algae cleaned off because this guy just wants to smash me when it comes time. So uh, this is my uh, Midas pair. Uh, the male is uh, crossed between uh, my old uh, El Fuego big headline and uh, El Fuego was uh, F1 and uh, I crossed him uh, with uh, one of the old wild females I got back in Jeff Rapp's days and uh, the, the wild male that I used to have, the white male, I crossed it with that El Fuego line and it really came up with this. This guy's about four, three years old, and he is a monster. We're talking maybe 14 and a half now. So, and the female's small, but you know, it's hard to keep a big female in there because he'll smash it. But what we're talking about today is the Walrus. The pipes got knocked over, so I'm gonna have to get some wood work in here. They do appreciate wood. It helps them digest their food. So it's good to make sure that you uh, utilize them a lot. Uh, as you can see, one of the fish is uh, wanting to spawn and starting to chalk dark up. And uh, we'll have Waru fries. Uh, I will leave them in, probably divide them the first week. But that's the reason I want to do a video now. And I think she's going to spawn with this male right here. Uh, males are usually smaller. You'll see this is the female, I think, spawning, and this is the male, and I see her hanging out with a lot. There's uh, three females, and uh, no, four females, and uh, two that are uh, known to be males, and one possible male. But as you can see, she's, uh, she's ready to do her thing. But w what we'll do tomorrow, we'll take the pipes out, take the other fish that they did not eat, and we'll put them back in their mommy and daddy's tank. That way that those guys won't spawn. Keep the water 84, 86 degrees. And uh, all the angels in them just, uh, the Warus just love it at that temp. But would like to get a little more algae grown on this tank, but it's just, uh, I just do such a big water change. I think that doesn't uh, allow it to happen too much. So, We'll keep you updated and we'll bring these guys in, see what we can uh, get. Uh, would like to, back in the 90s, uh, when I first got married, I think it's 95, 96, maybe, maybe not. My kids were first just babies. I had Warus and Altam Angels spawn in the same tank. And uh, that's back in the days you couldn't even hardly get Altam Angels. So, really pleased with what they're doing. Uh, development's coming good. Uh, see if I can see any spawning activity. Uh, there's, right here is a big female. And you can see the guy back there. He's just uh, really getting the top she is. Uh, these are uh, Columbia Altums and Columbia uh, Wauru, so I guess this could be my Colombian tank. See the way she's bouncing. They are some spawning activities. Now what I'll do is I'll throw a divider in here as soon as they spawn. 
I maybe ought to lay it in and uh, just leave it where it's sideways hanging up. That way they get used to it. You can see her. Is that the, I can't tell if that's the, that's the male down here. And the female just chased him off, the bigger female. And there's the other one. There's two females basically trying to court the same male over there. You can see all three of them in the corner and a little bitty male, which hasn't grown much. But he, uh, he still tries to court them, but this is not going to work out for him at that size. I expect to have, you know, a couple spawns of these guys and uh, growing them out. And they'll be ready to go by the time it gets uh, winter. And I'll ship them out with my distributors. So, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully I can get this uh, minus take, uh, the algae cleaned off and uh, get some videos of them. But right now we're going to do a video of these guys every day and uh, see how we can uh, keep it up. I'll clean the glass after the water change. I just don't want to do too much to the tank, you know, uh, you know, to break the uh, spawning behavior of young fish. So, yeah, really pleased with these guys. Uh, low pressure came in, got below zero. And anytime that happens, it simulates a rain. So um, I turned up my uh, automatic water changer, which really got things to boost. And uh, and I, I'll do a big water change on these guys. And that should, uh, that should trigger everything. This is about the size they start to spawn at. Uh, females probably six inches. Most of the males are between four and five. And these guys will get up to 13 inches long. So they're pretty cool. Ultra angels will get tall. They're bigger than the regular, so really pleased with it. They like to hang out over there, especially when I'm here. So let's let them go, let them do their things, make some babies, and uh, that way I can, uh, you know, get some of these guys out into the hobby. <laughs>